Okay, welcome back, ladies and gender queers. There we go. I'm Marion Jane Blank, and uh, against my better judgment, I bring back to you Gish. Because it has levels, and so I have a chance of, like, kind of completing it. It's pretty fun to ride the big rock. Uh oh, I probably needed to go in front of the rock. Oh well. Oh, or not. Sweet. Cool. <laughs> I do like that it's just like, grr. Oh, sweet. Cool. Awesome. Okay. You know, I am getting that sense of satisfaction because of the, like, amount of time I've spent. What the fuck? Oh, this way. Uh-huh. Yeah, and once again, we got a little bit of this weird, like, okay, we're fetishizing Egypt again. Not not this, again, for this, but just again. Got this weird... Faux... Maybe it's not faux, actually. This is not... Eh, it's not so bad. The music... The music could be less stereotypical, but it isn't so bad. I just have a feeling... This is interesting. Oh, I see, I see. It's it's pulling that shit on me. We got mummies, of course, sure. Yeah, this is just like classic video games, you know, to have an Egypt world. I guess, like, yeah, Mediterranean. It has a very Mediterranean vibe. That's why it reminds me also of, like, the music makes me think of, like, Greek and Middle Eastern a little bit as well different parts of the Mediterranean <laughs> than, like, Egypt and, uh, Libya. Ooh, that clip! Again, the clip, uh, is great. You know, I, I'm also struggling with these things myself, but, like, whoops, come on, please, 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 please. The, the graphics in this level make it so that, like, my... Oh my god, oh, I'm not... I can't connect to this stuff, I guess. I have a different... Whoa, fuck. Okay, I understand now. <laughs> Took me a hot second. Again, I'm just really distracted by this, like, klezmer ass music, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not really... I don't know. <sighs> Whatever. It's hard to tell, too, like... As a white American, I, how do I really know what's stereotypical and what isn't? That's sort of my problem. It's like, I have no way to know, you know, if this is something that's like, you know, uh, you know, tongue-in-cheek, or if this is the mummy, <laughs> you know? Not that the mummy is just like, racist propaganda, at least, you know? The mummy is, is not as bad as that, I guess, you know? If, if you live in Egypt, or you, uh, oops, have family of, like, Egyptian descent, let me know if you feel like the mummy starring Brendan Frazier is just, like, anti-Egyptian propaganda. It's certainly got issues. Oh, fuck off. Come on. Oh, okay, cool, it's one of those situations. Uh oh. There we go. Uh oh. I don't like that. This music is actually really rad. It's like, again, really growing on me. So, yeah, that's the problem. I won't pretend like. That's the thing. It's like, I'm not offended. I'm suspicious. You know? I am like. <sighs> It's hard. You know, it's one of those things. It's hard. It's a hard, uh, hard line to cross. Oops, I'm weighing it down. Oh, fuck, I'm, like, blocking the court, the shit, too. Fuck. Crabs. Crab, crab, crab salad. Crab salad. Whoa! Toss salad and scrambled eggs. Oh, great. I love this part. I, I always love getting crushed. 
mummy? What? Why does this mummy have a single eye? That's the part that I don't understand. Why is it a mummy clops? A mummy cyclops. I guess clops is just eye. You need the psi to be. It would be a biclops, a triclops, or a quad clops. Uh, we are biclopses, I guess, because we have two eyes. I'm all kinds of bi, I guess. Turns out. Woohoo! Okay. Weird. Okay. I'm gonna state for the record that Twitter is weird, and, like, the ways that it has been unpredictable for me are fascinating. Like, somehow, the way Twitter works, there's no way to know what posts are gonna become popular or not. You know? They're all kinda... It's like... Essentially... Like, my, I just got my most viral post, which is not huge, obviously. You know, just like 250, you know, breaks my record at this point. Uh, but like, seriously, and it's just like so weird. I, I, like, one of the most throwaway gags, which is why, whoops, which is why Twitter is good for comedians, because Twitter is only good for advertising, which is why it's so weird how a lot of content creators use it. Because I guess it's not that they post personal stuff. It's that like, oh, cool, rad. I'm so glad. Uh, never would I ever have thought that this is what would happen. Oh my god, why can't I slip through there? I should be able to slip through. I'm a slurpy. I'm a slurpy goo ball. Come on. Are the shadows fucking with me? What's going on here? Uh, oh my god! No? Okay. Now, I can do this. No? Not quite. Seriously, just- Yes! Let me slip and slide! Thank you. There we go. There we go. There we go. Alright. 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 Here we go. I really don't understand how this is supposed to work. I don't understand why, like, why my goo ball is so fucked. Why is my goo ball not willing to go down these little holes, even when I push the slime button? I'm holding the slime button, but yet my slime is reticent to go down this, this hole. There we go. Fuck, dude. I'm not confident that my regular crushing is gonna kill them. There are a lot of them. However. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, it's funny. This game takes a lot of concentration. Whoops. Shit. But that is the thing I do appreciate about it, at least. About the, the Twitter. Like, it is a, a sociological tool more than anything else. Again, we are the products in social media. It is it is using us more than we are using it. Absolutely. And you can call me a conspiracy- You could say that that's like tinfoil hat, but is it, though? I mean, that's Facebook's- Like, literally Facebook's whole deal is that they sell our data. The fuck? Are there seriously sep- Oh, what? What is this? No. No. This is not. Where where am I now? This is cool. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, I got killed very quick. But it's just so weird too, like some of the uh some of these uh Ah. Some of the things that I've written at like Never would I ever have expected, uh, I love VHS and hate crime, uh, to be my most popular tweet. Never, never did I expect that. You know? My sarcastic- I put it in quotes at least, too. So, like, okay, this is Mary Jane Blank's hot tip for sarcasm on the internet. If you're gonna try to be sarcastic online, my recommendation 
is to put quotes around whatever you're saying. Uh, so that it's clear that, like, that on some level, you know, this is a joke. This is some kind of joke, you know? Because part of the problem with sarcastic humor, like, I actually have a problem with this with some people, especially because of my very, a little vaguely, you know, it's hard for me to tell certain, like, emotions and shit. Oh my god, I don't remember how I did it the first time, too. It's weird, like, okay, so I'm, there we go. Fuck off. I don't really know the point of collecting points, but whatever. I don't really know the point of points. Yeah, why is the gish, like... <laughs> okay, look at this! Fucking red and stimpy-ass butt... butt clenches. Why? Why, though? Why? Like, s seriously, why, though? Why? Why am I stuck? There we go. Oh, jeez. I'm so happy, because today I found my friends. They're in my head. I'm so ugly, that's okay, cause so are you. Anyway. Whoa! Eat my brick! Oh, eat my single brick! Oh, it hurt me. It did hurt me. I was like, I wonder if it'll hurt me. It did. Answer, if brick hit Gish on head, or hit Gish on goo, do it hurt? The answer is correct. The do it hurt? The answer is correct. That is the answer. Okay, well, at least you can kill them the same way you kill their palette swap version. I'm glad that this is just a bunch of palette swapping. It tells me that they actually, they really do know what they're doing. Palette swaps are brilliant. Don't, don't fucking, don't mock at the palette swap. Bleh. Don't mock the palette swap. You know what I mean? How else in the 80s were, were we gonna get stuff like the fucking what the fuck okay sure i'll go that way instead why not oh are you shitting me is there like a second piece that needs to be broken is there a second piece that needs to be dislodged or can i use this to like fuck with shit actually can i use this to fuck with shit i'd really love to fuck with it gosh Oh my god. Oh my god! Oh, is that really what's going on? Is the light actually fucking with me? Wait a minute, are my abilities... moot? <gasps> Wait. No, they work. Okay, it's just the light- the light is just making it look... ambiguous, okay. It's not actually negating the powers, it's just making it look that way. Alright. All right, let's just go the proper direction right now. Uh-oh. The brick stopped it from doing what it needs to do. God damn it. <sighs> Fuck, okay, interesting. Unexpected, but okay. All right, yes, please go through. Thank you. Okay. So, uh, ah! Oops. App. I don't know, it's weird. The ways, so, the ways we can sort of relate, whoa. You know, lack of, of representation, lack of good representation, like, I can't even name a good representation of a trans man. I can only name one instance of a trans man in a movie and, yeah, uh, if you, oh god, if you've ever shit, if you've ever shit, god damn it, <sighs> whatever, oh, hello, ah, ah, uh. Oh, 
Oh, what? It is. Wait, what? So where's the end? Oh, must I murder all the mummies? I believe I'm capable of doing this. Oh man, nope, mummy got me. Mummy. It's so weird, though. What does it mean to go through the level backwards like that? Like, what? Also, this thing is heavy. It's like, uh, I'm trying to... Ah! Oh, it's gonna come up my ass. Whoa! There it goes. <laughs> okay, cool. Awesome. Good to know. Just trying to slip, slip and slide down here real quick. You know, just doing my normal gishy thing. Just trying to go down the damn pipe. Don't know why this is a problem. It's like gish has become a big cup, and like uh, I'm trying to pour a two liter into gish, or like yeah, gish is a two liter, and this thing is a big cup. Which only takes 1.8 liters of liquid. I don't understand. There has some it has something to do with this light, but like, does it though? Damn it. You, know, you do need the heavier heavy rock to do it. You do need heavy rocks by Boris to do it, 2004. There we go. I'm kinda doing it. It's it's weird though. I don't understand this that much. Why the fuck does it work this way? There we go. Maybe that's my problem is I'm trying too hard. Oh. This is the ending. Bye. I feel so stupid, but I did it. I'm fucking cranking through this fourth world. Fucking cranking it right now. That's not true. I have not been able to do that in a couple days because of just normal, you know, emotional problems. No big deal. Ah! Having issues with some... Uh-oh! I see now. What an interesting uh, conundrum here. Okay, okay. Okay, whoa. Oh, nope. This was a foreground rock, not a useful rock. <laughs> okay. Oh, here's a good rock. I found a rock that I want. Two rock. Tur rock. I found two rock! I need to get that game again. I love Turok. I used I, I got all the cheat codes for it because I read Nintendo Power, of course. I didn't even play the sequels, I don't think. I read about all of them, though. I read about it. Because that game was the shit. I love that shit. Oh. I am Turok. So fucking good. Uh, the, the 90s Turok, obviously. Not the, like, 2006 Turok or whatever. Turok the Dinosaur Hunter, ever heard of it? <laughs> it was great. Like, the thing I remember most about it is, again, I used a bunch of cheat codes and, like, level skipped. So what I remember, actually, this image I don't think has ever, like, left me, which is, like, I, like this is influencing me to this day, which is that there's a part with, like, the ending, there's, like, bodies hanging from the ceiling, and, like, that image has never left me. I've definitely tried. Recently, I've been obsessing over a different image. I think I need to... I need to have a chat with my, uh, my psychiatrist, my therapist. My therapist does happen to be a psychiatrist. Uh, normally I don't like psychotherapists or psychiatrists, but my, my therapist has been really good. Uh, cause he understands, basically like me, he understands how to interpret the 
finding the truth in things, like, you know, so, like, he didn't have to hear about it, you know, to know about it, to, to know, like, how it could help and be useful, like, self-compassion and, like, uh, nonviolent communication, you know? Because all nonviolent communication is, is just, like, a way of intellectualizing, uh, like, good communication and, like, effective communication. And, like, I love the, the book is great. Uh, Marshall Rosenberg spends a lot of time uh, regaling different stories of, like, conflict management. Like, a lot of it is about conflict management, obviously. Like, those are the times where you need to be able to communicate the best. And, like... Uh, yeah, and it was funny, like, that was part of it, too, was, like, it's kind of funny how much people kind of just want to be listened to, you know what I mean? Like, if you have find a way to acknowledge somebody, that goes a long way, and, like, we're actually getting to a point now, it's been a couple of years since I read it, I read this, like, in 2016, uh, Rip Marshall Rosenberg, but, um, Essentially, the way it, the way it works, that I've the biggest part that I've really been trying to to do, although the way I've done it has not been the most effective, but yeah, um, is that basically the first thing is to speak without judgment, judgment, and that like realizing that like a lot, basically like everything that isn't factual can be judgment, and like, uh, whoops. Like, the example that he uses is a song that his friend wrote that's like, uh, you know, the first couple ones you understand, you're like, okay, you know, I get that. Uh, you know, yeah. And then, but it's like the last line is being a cook, and it's like, yeah, even being, like, a, basically using nouns to refer to stuff, like, essentially is a judgment, you know? You are something. You are a cook. You are a whatever you know that's that's part of how depression language also works so part of how i know about some of this stuff is through experiencing uh in you know depression and that internal voice saying similar kind of uh you know using a lot of judgmental language you are worthless whatever you know what i mean you are uh you know a lot of a lot of really nasty things that like no one other than myself my own brain has ever said to me and honestly, I do. I, like, resent it a lot. It's sad. You know, there is a part of me... That is actually part of the problem, I think, is that part of that good part of me wants to punish me. Which is so foolish. <laughs> Not that punishment... Whoops, never works. It's just that... It just generally, mmm. Generally, at least, especially in this kind of instance where it's just like, you know, yourself and whatever, uh, whoa! Tends to just be self indulgent instead. So instead of actually being, I, actually holding myself accountable, it's like, oh, I have done the necessary work. You know, it's a, it's a way to not hold yourself accountable. Which, it's good to know how I do it, too, you know? Uh, a lot of people make it their whole identity to not hold themselves accountable, like your right-wing pundits, your Tuckers, your Bens, your Jordans. Uh, a Joe or two. Hell, even a Bill. And, of course, a David. David. The worst of all, David. <laughs> I figured out where to go, at least. At least it only takes, like, 30 fucking minutes to throw those things up there. Okay. Okay, cool. But anyway, yeah. So basically, the first thing... So uh, there's four steps to nonviolent communication. Like, there's a lot of different things that are just, like, his method of explaining certain things that are just the tru truth. Uh... So there's, like, basically the way, there's four steps to it, kind of. Um, and so, yeah, so instead of expressing, oh man, 
Instead of expressing... Uh... Oh, I see. That sucks. Um... So, like, instead of expressing, like... Yeah, it requires a couple ways to change your paradigm. Okay, so... Basically, you want to be as factual as possible, and, like, even kind of discussing your feelings. So, so what you want to do... The way, the way it kind of works is so, like, step one is identifying the underlying need that is not being met. Uh, and then you try to describe the action uh, or that you would like. That That's the fourth step. I'm saying them all out of order. It's been several years since I read this, but this is just something really important to remember. And I was really good. I understood the importance of this to me at the time, and so I... I took notes. There's, like, post-it notes in it, which my mom really appreciates. My mother, an academic, who teaches things like this, which is fascinating. But anyway. But I had to learn about it because I lost a friend because of bad communication. And, like, when you lose an eight-year-long friendship, you have to, you know... I had to ask a lot of questions about myself, you know? That was pretty bad. Like, six months ruined it. Uh, and, like, I guess not forever, but it, then it ruined it ruined it for me, you know, which is unfortunate, but that, that that is the truth, is that, like, it was effectively over at that point, and, like, even... It sucks. Being neurotic, having depression, having, like... problems with self self image and self esteem <sighs> even stuff like oh god i still struggle with um derealization i believe that's the name of it where like it's hard for me sometimes to tell the difference between fiction and reality and like i've gotten good at this point like i've i've grown up and so i am finally a, uh, you know, fiction, like, text, textual fiction, media, you know, it does not affect me in that fashion. You know, it is, I understand, you, you know, you don't die in the game, you die in real life. You know, real life, the game is just a game, and in fact, the fact that it is just a game makes it so much better. Uh, and that's, that's, again, a part of my paradigm shift when I went from uh, hating anything that was difficult in video games to eventually to playing 400 hours of Dark Souls in, like, six months. That's an, actually an underestimation, by the way. Yeah, of how much Dark Souls I played last year. I got, I got into it. It's a, it's good shit, and, like, because of the skill-based stuff, it is the kind of thing where you have to kind of play it a lot. And you do kind of get into, like, a, a vibe, a groove with it. Okay, well, I threw that one over there. That's, uh, not optimal. But okay, let's, uh... Oops, nope, that one I threw off the edge. Well, good. Okay, now I'm just gonna try to lightly set this brick down. Just real gentle, like. Okay. It did not land on the button. That's fine. You know what? That's life. Uh, so yeah, so one of the things I've learned, there's some weird things about life that, like, do not make any fucking sense, but are true. Like, we all need little truisms to get through our, our lives, little cliches, because they are facts. There are certain facts about like, reality that we, each of us individually, forget. Uh, and I don't even, I, I just say this as like, it seems to be this way, that this is how most people are. So I like to say it is what it is, because that's something I've always needed to hear. And so there are certain things, you know, you have to be able to accept, and being able to have a phrase of acceptance uh, is helpful for me. You know, for some people, positivity uh, is like what the kind of, you know, positive language is like what's helpful for them. But for me, that's what it, what the thing that, like, uh, kind of works for me. Is the hat. Alright, can I please? Can I... Can I have your attention, please? Will the real Slim Shady... Thank you. Alright, finally. I'm finally in the part where I died? Question mark? Yeah. 
this little this little fool killed me. Did it? I don't recall anymore. I'm I'm confused. I don't know. It was this one. <laughs> Something killed me. Something did me in. Maybe it was some kind of lava. I don't remember. Oh yeah, this is probably lava. There is lava. All right. I have to be patient. Fine. I think my favorite thing was finding out that, oh, this is perfect, about Twitter responses is the, I've only gotten like four negative responses. Hell yeah! And mo a bunch of them were by a bunch of transphobes on the same moment. Like, it, to me, it felt like one person had like four accounts and they wanted me to feel like I was being harassed. Uh, and because like I posted on, I got like a hundred likes on a, post that was like, if you want to be a girl, you can be a girl, and so it's like, I made a po post picture from 2010, and a picture from uh, a couple weeks ago, and like, they made fun of me, which I, I was like, really confused by, but anyway, it was a really weird, like, 20 minutes of my life, of like, the 1st of October, you know, but uh, and the only other one I got was like, someone didn't like my Fortnite, I made a joke about Fortnite, but like, the joke wasn't really about Fortnite, but because of how they framed talking about it, I couldn't... I actually basically fucked it up and did not remember that the joke was not about Fortnite. It was inconsequential. It was about this guy who, um, this, like, congressperson who has spent, he spent his campaign funds on video games, and I said, I want to know what games he played, because I don't, I wouldn't vote for a Fortniter. The joke being that that's a really absurd <laughs> way of thinking. And, and then it was like, I was critiqued on my joke, why, like, making a Fortnite joke wasn't funny. And I, that's one of those weird things I'm like, what? Wait, uh, okay, I mean, I understand, but also, why? Why? <laughs> why? <laughs> like, that's the part that really confused me. But anyway, uh, I know it seems weird that I'm complaining about the only- But my point being that, like, most of my other experiences, minimal and positive. That I think that those go hand in hand. <laughs> I definitely don't get into conversations or feuds. I've never had- actually, I guess I've had some other negative comment things. But, like, it's one of these things where it just kind of is like, why are we having this conversation? Like, you know, sometimes there's no purpose to having certain conversations and you gotta just, like, bow out. Just gotta not have them. Ah. Uh... I do not know. Why can't I stick to this stupid thing? I have to push it from behind, I guess. Oh, I see. It was like I was supposed to use the stick to do that. But I fucked it up. God. This is some weird shit. Like. Okay. I gotta just nuzzle myself up in there. Just nuzzle, 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 nuzzle. Nuzzle, nuzzle, nuzzle. Come on. Just nuzzle, 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 nuzzle. Okay, um, it's inside of me. Oh, nope, it's part of me now. Come on. How? What? What? How? How? How and why? But how, mostly? Mostly how? I mean, I understand that I fucked this up royally, and that, that's my real problem. But, but still... Like, they did not really put in a contingency plan. It's like, well, you fucked it up. Go fuck yourself, I guess. Jeez. I forgot this is like my last playthrough, too. I have to... I have to... I have to sign R. I have to sign off. Sign off and sign R sound very similar, so... It's fun to say both. Uh, but yeah. Because I, I don't like to go this long, usually. Even though I've gone way longer. Those were mistakes. Those were not good ideas. But, you know, if we never made mistakes, it wouldn't, I mean, basically it just wouldn't be life. Like, life is just, that's just a part of it. Again, it's just like, you have to accept this shit. It's part of why I don't really like idealized fantasy. You know, that's why I was, it took me until, like, being 30 and getting into D&D to like fantasy at all, because, um... Well, yeah, because it's, like, it's this idealized white fantasies, and so, like, I had to play D&D &D where it's your fantasy rather than Tolkien's fantasy, which is this very idealized white, you know, 
uh, and good and evil as well are cons are visually very distinct and also narratively very distinct. God damn it! I don't want to restart because again, I I'm like, that's the end. But also, how many times can I do the same thing before I realize that it's not possible to do? Okay, fine. Restarting is not the same. Fuck. Fuck me. I hate this. Yep, I, I, I'm 95, so yeah, technically, it's the same. I don't understand why they do that. Wait, everything else resets. Why don't- why doesn't your health- whatever. What a world. Cool. Oh, I'm like, if it plugs the hole, I'm gonna be so sad. Alright, get in the hole. Get in the hole. What the hell? How? 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 What would you do if I sang out of tune? Like, I just don't understand why. Why it doesn't work. Is it my gooey mass that I need to, like, deal with here? Ah, oh, fuck yeah. Oh, nope, 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 coming out. Okay. You know what I'm gonna do instead? I keep trying too hard. You know what I have to do? Okay. I'm just gonna hold down on the hole. How about that? How does that sound? Oh, okay, that's the same effect. What the fuck is that about? Whatever. Fine. Ah. Okay. My arch nemesis. This button. There we go, I did it. One try. Well, you have to do it in one try. That was the secret. So you have to do it in one try. Okay. I- wait, what? Let me just weigh the scale down a little bit here, hold on. Interesting, there's like a- there's like implications about what I'm supposed to do here, which is fascinating. Wait, can I? Can I- oh, okay, maybe I'm supposed to pull it out of the ground. That would be nice if I could. Just pull it out, just like, Arrgh! pull it out of the ground. Ugh. There we go. <laughs> just like a thud, a really ineffectual thud. That's that's. Uh, there you go. Nope. Not enough. Not enough momentum there. Fuck. I can't believe I restarted the damn level just because. It's like I hadn't died, I just got stuck, but now I'm just stuck in a different part. Ugh. Oh, cram. Nope, I fell off. Crap. Yeah, really I need to lift it out, not pull it in, but... That's the part I don't quite get yet, which is, ah! Oh, here we go. I did it. I finally did it. I weighed it down. Oh, nope. Oh, hey, look at that! I just gotta fuck it up enough. That's actually pretty nice. I do enjoy that, that that is the way you, you solve this, is by, you just fuck it up enough. Wait, can I not grab this? You're shitting my ass. Like, you're shitting me in my actual ass. You're pushing shit back into my ass, as the song goes. I barely made it through the day, and they want me again tomorrow. I barely made it through the day, but they want me again tomorrow. That's pushing shit back in my ass by 1.6 band, six band, in case you want to know what obscure 90s song I'm referencing this time. That's the one! Post-hardcore- oh shit! All right, so, because I assume this is going to be the end of the level, please, if I get to, if I, if I make it and don't die, please like the video, comment how proud you are of me, say thank you, Gish, 
and put your letter of choice in the chat, your Zs, your Xs, your Qs, your Gs, your MJs, hey! Alright, anyway. Uh, and, uh, I'm Mary Jane Blank, please, if I make it, please subscribe to the channel, and if I don't make it, um, and you don't like me already, then feel vindicated that I have lived up to your expectations. Look at that! Expectations met! How funny! So you don't like me, but as long as I meet your expectations, though, I can't be disappointing. Eh? See? Positive. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta look on... Sometimes you gotta see the, po the positive side of things, because, uh, you know, everything's got positive and negative attributes, so you have to just kind of be able to deal with that. Oh, of course. I am like, I have a feeling I'm gonna die. And I did. Well, great. Good. Well, unsubscribe. 